Going back to wordplay, do you think that you could duplicate that success again theatrically and what do you see in the next five years? It just seems like tougher and tougher now that mm. everyone's, you know, filmmaking is pretty much open to everybody. Yeah. Uh, it, it, there's that many more eyeballs, you know, yeah. being taken away from stuff. <clears throat> is, is this something that's easily, I, and I'm stumbling for words here, but could you duplicate Could we do it again? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, wordplay was very special. You know, we, we went off to Sundance that year, hopefuls, and we came out filmmakers with a, with a really successful film. Um, very, I mean, it did very well. Um, um, it was in the, within the top 25 um, highest box office of all time um, for, for, for documentaries. Um, got great reviews. We won a little Golden Tomato from Rotten Tomatoes. We were the best reviewed documentary of the year. I mean, it was like kind of everything kind of went right with that film. Um, and, you know, the thing is that was, God, that was almost 10 years ago. And the landscape has changed dramatically. But that said, I, I, think, that, I think that anyone could do this again. Um, I mean, the, the, the key, I think the key changes that have happened in the, at least in the documentary landscape, but I think this is also true of narratives. Um, a lot more people are making films, but it's still pretty hard to make a really good film. It, it, just because there's a lot of cameras in the world doesn't mean there's going to be a lot of great movies in the world. I mean, th I, think, I think there is more great work being done, but the, the obstacles you know, that stand before a filmmaker who's hoping to make a really, really good film are still really high. It's hard to do that. It's hard to, it's hard to accomplish that. Um, so, you know, I think if, if we really wanted to make a movie that could sell for a lot of money and find a really, really big audience, I think we could do that again. I, I don't, it's not impossible. Um, that's also not necessarily what we're aiming for. Um, with our work. I mean, if we're getting paid to make our films and we make a great film, um, that's way more important to us than a big splashy sale at Sundance or somewhere else. I mean, truly. In fact, <clears throat> the reason we made If You Build It, which is a fairly small story in a small town in North Carolina, no one in the movie is, is well known or famous. Um, we knew going in, like, this is not going to be wordplay. This is not going to be IOUSA, which, which was a nonpartisan look at the national debt that had people like Warren Buffett was in the film, several Treasury secretaries, several chairman of the Federal Reserve. I mean, there were like a, a lot of kind of famous people in that movie as well. Um, and this was different, and it was like a different mountain for us to climb, which is, which is part of the reason we did it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're working on a project now. It's too early to really talk about it yet, but I mean, we're working on a project now that I think could have a much bigger audience than wordplay. So we'll see. That's probably two years away. So we'll we'll see if we'll see if we get there.